sure you didn't open this shoe store just to meet women. After all, you did have your hands on my ankles when you, when you asked me out. I'm shocked that you have such thoughts, my dear. I mean, it's difficult not to touch a woman's ankle when you're fitting a shoe on her foot. Ah! What is it, Ralph? Uh, there's a hair in my soup. I can't, I can't eat anymore. Why does this always happen to me? Why can't hair stay where it belongs? Are you sure it's not yours? How can you even ask that? Waiter! Waiter! There is a hair in my soup. Sir, I believe that is one of your own hairs. How dare you accuse me of losing my hair? Sir, I'm sure I'm not the first to point out that you are losing hairs. Okay, listen, smart Alec. Everyone loses the same amount of hair every day. Mine just aren't going back as fast as yours, hence the deficit. If you think I'm going to pay for this food, you've got another belief system coming. I'll pay for it. Don't worry. You know, Barbara, this is not about money. I mean, is that what you two think? This is about hair. What do you think? No one else in this joint is losing their hair? There's an army of receding hairlines out there under all those hats and hair weaves. How about we go back in the kitchen and compare hairs? Who needs more hair? I mean, this is something that is traceable, you know. Genetic hair prints, ever heard of them? I ask you, what does someone have to do to get some justice around here? Well, what's the matter? You still think it was my hair in the soup, don't you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just take me home. Look, you know how I know what I'm talking about? Because this is not the first time this has happened to me. This is something that has plagued me my whole life. The lack of hair is the root of all evil.